seventh race weekend of the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh World Cup. We're in Winterberg in Germany as we get ready to get the men's racing underway with the first race of the weekend. And what is quite a rare occurrence now, we have a two-man race here. Over the last four seasons, there has only been one two-man race here in Winterberg. Bizarre as it seems, we have had lots of double four-man weekends. Well, John Morgan, that means that for the two-man drivers, fresh from the challenges of Segulda, this track could be a little easier, but the trip wires are all still there. Yeah, this is a total different personality than the track in the Segulda Latvia last week. Curve zero, why? Because they put that curve in in the 2008 after this track was open in the mid 70s. Extended a different part of the long straightaway. And then down here, this track is so slow up top, it puts you to sleep. And you can't fall asleep because you can waste a lot of time up here by hitting a wall nonchalantly. And then here, a couple curves before this big Kreisel, okay? It exit of Kreisel. You better have the top speed or in the top three or four speed if you want to get to the bottom and podium position. Curve nine, pivotal part of the track. You got to exit here, not hit the wall on the left because you want to get into 10 on your own terms. Come out on your own terms because at 80 miles an hour, curve 12 can eat you alive. Into the finish curve, uphill. We see teams crashing here on the outlet. Still going across the finish line. We saw that this morning in the Women's monobob race and the athletes still finished second. But Martin, yeah. it's a very easy track to get down, but it does have its challenges. It sure does. Well, Francesco Friedrich is our points leader in the two-man World Cup standings. This is the seventh of eight races, the finale of the season, and the European Championships will be next weekend in Samaritz in Switzerland. The very different, longest, and only natural track on the planet, and one that everybody will be looking forward to. And then, of course, two weeks off before they start to think about heading off to Beijing for the Winter Olympic Games. Francesco Frugic, our points leader, the defending World Cup champion, the defending European champion, the defending world champion, defending Olympic champion. You've got a title. Francesco Frugic hasn't won it. You don't have a title. So he is going to be the hot favourite here, as so often. But the last time but one that we were here, John, Friedrich didn't win. He was tied for silver with Chris Spring of Canada. Do you remember who won back in 2017, 2018? Clement yes. Brasher of Switzerland with Mikkel Quonen behind him. Mikkel Quonen now driving as well as is Clement Brasher. But it's been a pretty happy hunting ground for Swiss drivers. Beat Hefty had a bunch of wins here. But he had four wins here before the Francesco Friedrich era began. Our start draw was due to have 24 sleds. Uh, one thing and another, and we all know what the one thing is, COVID has reduced it to 22. So there's no Lamindine. There is no Benny Meyer today either. Our uh, best wishes go to them. Hope that whoever has come down with a positive test in the camp is not feeling too bad. We get the action underway with Suk Yun Jin of Korea, 31-year-old driver, 15th World Cup start for him. Made his debut as a driver in January 2019. And is relatively inexperienced here in Winterberg. Martin, isn't this his first World Cup of the year? He's been over on the America's Cup. He has indeed, pretty much for the last yeah, two seasons, actually. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it. So the 44 start time, well, that's well off the track record of the start. He's way back. And, you know, if you don't have a good start in this track, you're going to be scrambling to make the second heat. Well, two sleds Great. won't get through, so as long as he gets down, he's got a reasonable chance. What a big mistake there on the entrance. Exit of eight into nine. That's pretty good there, the exit of nine into ten. Watch him down here in the last last little danger part of the track right there. Speed, you know, 79 and change, almost 80 miles an hour. 56, 37 compared to our track record of 5602. Wow, whoa, 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 we're, we're 5502. 5502, okay. okay. I had to squint uh, as well, yeah. It's, you know, size eight print, it's tough for us. Yeah. You guys are arranged yeah, to look down at that track record, but 55, we aren't gonna see a track record. 
today, no. I don't think. But uh, mistake here. I don't, here, I don't think this weekend. No. Women's model, Bob, they're about three-tenths off. You know, pretty pedestrian ride down the track for his first World Cup of the year for yep. Mr. Sook. And, uh, ooh, a little airborne, but he won't be the last time we see do that. Well, he gives us an indication, perhaps, of what to expect. Next up, Hunter Church of the USA with Charles Volker. Like Sook, this is his 15th World Cup race. Unlike Sook, he's been in Europe all season. Sook's third in NAC points. No two-man World Cup starts here, but he has raced here twice in four-man, so that's double four-man weekends. Charles Volker's third two-man World Cup. It's only his third two-man race ever, in fact. 523, that's pretty good. Volker's the football player from Princeton, New Jersey. You know, heralded running back from the Princeton Tigers camp. And, uh, you know, he's a rookie on tour. Let's see what Hunter can do here. Hunter uh, struggled a little bit to a man this year. Katyville, New York, not far from Plattsburgh. Third generation bobsledder. Last week. Do they do any speed skating down there in Holland? There's no ice in the canals anymore. I don't know how they I do it. I believe speed skating is a thing still in the Netherlands, yeah. Netherlands? Yeah. They're still doing that down there? I, I think so, yeah. All right, they don't have that natural oval that you have in uh, Lake Placid outside the high school, but they still have uh, they still have ice. Look at this. Look, he, he's in, he's yeah. in trouble here, too. Look at this. Come on. Boy. That's two sleds we've seen. Dude, what is it? Brakeman too far can't either? get in either. Watch well, Yelen Francic in the back. Yeah, he went too far. If you go look at the spike marks down there, he ran two steps too far. You know, all your time isn't in the run down. All your time is generated in the first 15, 20 meters. Yeah. Well, he makes the field in 19 spots, and that means there is no second heat for Dratzen Silic of Croatia and Mihai Tentea of Romania. There will be a second heat, though, for the new track record holder. Same as the old track record holder, Francesco Fricic, this time with Alexander Schuller behind him. They had a disastrous first day in Segulda. Looks like they uh, one here in Winterberg is a little better for our world champion and Olympic champion. Francesco Frijic possibly in a position to tie up the World Cup this weekend in two-man as well. We'll have to double-check the points. However, it seems likely that he will also claim the Crystal Globe either here or in Samaritz. His and everybody else's favourite track. Leads by just 500s from Hansi Lochnino. They were 1-2 last time out ahead of Benny Meyer, but it is a Canadian who lies in third place, Justin Cripps, separating Christoph Harfer from a German podium sweep. Yunjin Suk and Ivo de Bruyne make the field. Mihai Tenter and Dratzen Silic do not. Benny Meyer and Lamindina could not start because of positive tests in the camp, so our best to them. Possibly means they will not be racing also in Stammeritz in a week's time. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But before that, we have the second heat of the two-man competition. Sleds on ice at three local, 1400 GMT, 0900 Eastern. That is in 37 minutes. Join us then.